The Memorial Slideshow works with Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 or higher. PowerPoint is usually a part of the Microsoft Office suite and allows you to create presentations that consist of several pages or slides. PowerPoint is available for both PC and Mac. We have carefully crafted your Memorial Slideshow to include slide transitions and picture animations, resulting in a polished, professional, finished product with just a little help from you. To ensure your piece plays properly, follow these directions for adding pictures and slides. Adding elements any other way could result in your slideshow not performing properly. Also, we suggest you use this template as is for best results. Slideshow transitions and animations might not work with additional graphics. When you open the slideshow, every slide is displayed to the left. In the main right pane, you'll see the current slide. Each slide contains a caption or wording. To change it, click inside the text box to select it and type your new text. Remember, put text only in existing text boxes because those boxes have animations already applied. To add pictures to a slide, first make sure the slide is selected in the left-hand column, indicated by a bold red border. Click inside a picture placeholder to select it. Then, right-click or command-click on a Mac and select Change Picture. Find the picture you want from your computer and double-click to insert it into the picture box. Then you can move the picture or resize it by clicking and dragging a corner handle. Remember, only use existing picture placeholders so animations and transitions work correctly. We'll choose another slide to make it active by clicking the thumbnail. Again, click on a picture placeholder to select it. Then, right-click or command-click on a Mac and choose Change Picture. Choose your picture, double-click to add it, and then resize if you'd like. One other way to do this. After you click a picture placeholder to make it active, choose Format at the top of the screen, and then go over to Change Picture. Then browse and choose a picture. Once all your pictures are added, you can move and resize as needed. Want to add another picture? You'll need to know which picture animates last. To find out, let's play the slide. To play the slide, choose Slideshow at the top. Choosing From Beginning would let you see your entire show. Right now, we just want to see the current slide, so choose From Current Slide. You'll see a preview of the animation, and we'll note on this slide, the bottom picture animates last. To end the preview, click Escape. Back in our edit view, we're going to select the picture that appeared last. Right-click and choose Copy. Then right-click and choose the first Paste option. That will give you an additional picture spot. Select the new picture and then right-click and choose Change Picture to choose a new picture to replace the one that's copied. Then rearrange and resize any pictures as needed. Replay the slide to check how your new picture appears by again choosing From Current Slide on the Slideshow tab. Our new picture appears at the end. Hit Escape to return to Edit View. To add a slide to your show, select the thumbnail of the slide you'd like to duplicate. Then right-click and choose Copy. Then right-click again and choose Paste you'll see a duplicate of the slide right under the original. It will contain all the animations of the original slide. Again, only add slides by copying and pasting existing slides to ensure your show plays properly. Elegant Memorial Slideshows come with music. Don't want it? Select the first slide and you'll see the music icon, this little speaker. To remove the music, click the speaker and hit delete.